welcome to Vienna Virtuoso. My name is Josh Lang, Executive Director. And my name is Stefan Wader. I'm a classical concert pianist and professor for classical piano at the University of Music in Vienna and chief conductor of the Vienna Chamber Orchestra. And at Vienna Virtuoso, I'm the director of musical education. I want you to imagine an online campus for classical music students developed by experts, a safe place where students can go to practice and evaluate each other, inspired only by the love of music, inspired only by what we can do with our students and what teachers can do for all levels, ages, and countries, cultural backgrounds, where students support each other, higher to lower, lower to higher, and in every language around the world. Access for everyone, where experts give personal video feedback, students can share sheet music, students can share video lessons, and we monitor and manage everything professionally. This is Vienna Virtuoso's Virtuoso Campus, and welcome to the future. Vienna Virtuoso. Modern. Classical. Revolutionary. Hello again, this is Josh Lang. Now I'm going to now walk you through the steps to enroll and then practice on the Virtuoso campus. You can go to www.beingavirtuoso.com. It's available in English and in German. On the site you'll see that we do offer monthly memberships which are our paid tutoring program. But you click on free trial beta or free registration and you'll come to a Moodle site, a standard registration site, and you will just register just like anywhere else. You'll get a confirmation in your email like I have here and copy and paste the link or click the link depending on your browser and then you will go to the confirmation page and you confirm and then you can log into Vienna Virtuoso's Moodle site. Now once you're in sight there will be all kinds of courses you can choose from but a very organized thing. So let's let's go to piano because we want to use the piano campus. So my example student is named Martina McAllen and she's now enrolled in the piano campus, the free introductory course and virtuoso level with piano maestro Stefan Ladar. So here we are in the campus which is the tool we're trying to introduce here and the first thing she's going to do is say oh well uh, my language is Spanish, Espanol so she'll go to the language menu and choose Espanol and you'll see on the left sidebar navigation bar there are is everything is in Spanish we will um, update the languages of our users to reflect um, the rest of the language in the main site but for now it's the navigation bar and a few other features within the Moodle site so English is the main language that we're using so it's all it doubles as a language learning tool and of course English is the international language of music at the present on the web at least so now we are Martina and we are starting our tour into the Virtuoso campus and we want to learn a Chopin piece let's say um, so we first start off with the sheet music share and we want to find out if anybody has uploaded a Chopin piece and it, not only will students be uploading this but also our professional uh, organizations that we work with teachers and so forth uh, respecting copyrights and we have um, several ways to make sure that this happens um, so this she's searching for Chopin she wants to see what is available She's particularly interested in the nocturne, and she finds a nocturne. Um, it sh will show you the different pieces based on what you search for. So we found a Chopin nocturne that we want to learn how to play, and we 
Look, let's go further though. What else can we have? So this is what the sheet music share looks like. Anybody that's a member can upload a file, any type of file or a link or both. And as you can see, there are um, different links and our database administrator will make sure that all of these are formatted according to our protocol, high quality only. And you can rate um, the quality of these, which will help us to decide which uh, which ones are being useful to users and I'll show you more about that later. So here's a sheet music share and let's say that there is a URL that you could paste because you found a web version only. So you could paste it there or just drag and drop the uh, the file and then fill in the form and it's there. Um, so let's go back to the community tools on the Virtuoso campus. There's several ways to get back there on the piano campus. And so she's got her sheet music. And now Martina says, well, let me see if there's anybody that has uploaded a lesson or put a link to a lesson that the virtuoso community finds useful and valuable. And again, this is unlike YouTube. There's not all these negative commentary that you're gonna see um, with vulgar language. This is, and it's not just random where you have to search through thousands. This will be, only the quality, only the best material on the web. And again, it's rated by our users and we monitor and manage to make sure that users own this, we only keep what users find valuable. So here we are at the Video Lessons Database and there are hundreds of lessons. These lessons come from the web and our providers, which are all professional music organizations. Um, and so she looks for Chopin, Nocturne, hit save settings, which means search in the Moodle system. And here she's found a Paul Barton Chopin tutorial, which we love Paul Barton. Again, for Irish Pianos, um, one of the best tutors on the web. And we'll, you'll see many of his uh, teaching videos here. And so she's found that, the tutorial. And there's the link, but she can also add, so I'm showing you that she could also add it. She could rate it if she thinks it's a good one or a bad one. And again, I'll show you how we look at those a little bit later. Um, and so she's found a lesson. Now she watches the lesson, opens a new window. And that way she doesn't have to search different uh, Google sites, video sites, websites, Facebook, whatever. She can find it all on this one resource, which is a, a, mon a professionally managed community of peers of piano enthusiasts who are also interested in high quality lessons. And as we like to empower our users, she's found a mistake here and she's decided to fix that mistake herself. And now she's back into the community tools. And now she says, well, I wonder if anybody's talking about this in the forum. So she goes there and, ah, what do you see? Well, we've done this. We've added this discussion because it's a Chopin, Chopin a Nocturne discussion, of course. And so she can find out what people are saying about this and have a discussion with other pianists who are interested in Chopin, maybe who have won Chopin competitions with using, playing his Nocturne, uh, whatever it is, but it's focused only in this positive community aspect. Now we ask that our users put um, their contributions, their discussion topics in English and in their native language, or if they only want to discuss people, or if they only feel comfortable with people, like for example, this Japanese student, um, then uh, you would just put Japanese, but this Chinese student uh, put uh, Chinese and English, which is which will create a, a larger audience discussion. So she's found a discussion, she's found sheet music, she's found a video lesson on this, and now and she wants to chat with somebody because she's bored, but nobody's in the chat room. But there could be, or we, we will random, and we will also randomly um, organize chats, and users can organize chats, teachers and students and so forth, international chats, and it could be topic-based, theme-based, we can do lots of uh, cool stuff. It's, it's up to the, really the teachers and the users um, and the professionals involved. So now she's 
got her sheet music, she's practiced for a while, she's taken all the advice and lesson, and she wants to upload a practice to get other people to rate it and to give her comments on it. And this is the m major tool of the Virtuoso Campus, and we find this very exciting for group lessons, for teachers who um, can only give group lessons and unfortunately cannot give each one of their students personalized feedback. Their students can upload their practices here and get, get uh, feedback from the virtuoso community, other pianists around the world, and the teacher can monitor their progress. Um, they can also, teachers can also ask peers in the same class um, or in the same school to view it, but you will need a YouTube uh, channel and you can set the views like I have here this uh, video with me and my daughter I could set it to private so nobody sees it except in the virtuoso community um, or you can set it to public if if it's a practice that you really like or your students really like but again there is that option in YouTube you don't just post a video to YouTube and everybody in the world sees it um, this one with my daughter um, let's just copy and paste that as if it's a Chopin piece. My, she's a little bit young to be studying Chopin, but hopefully with the help of the Virtuoso Campus, she'll get there. Um, so we just basically copy and paste that from YouTube or Vimeo. And we put our the text that we want to cover it. Um, we could put a comment if it's our first recital or whatever um, relevant comment and you can also choose your level which is very important and if your students or you do not know the level of your students um, in the general terms then uh, please do our free trial lesson and we will tell you whether you're a beginner intermediate or advanced that's in the free introductory course and now you can see it's it's showing on the database so for other users to see and we will be sending these out to different users based on relevance and we have an algorithm that we're going to set up once we have enough users and enough content um, on this uh, database that will allocate um, ran allocate based on relevance so if she's uploading this Chopin piece she will find that um, other users that are uploading Chopin practices will come into her email inbox and she can rate those um, right there from her email inbox which is pretty cool so let's say that she wants to rate the performances in common on somebody else who's studying the practicing the same thing so she finds Chopin based on the search she finds a nocturne piece this is of course a professional player that was actually in the Chopin competition I believe and here's a, she reads the comments there and there's a variety of comments already and those comments are typically by people who are also rating the performance so you can leave comments being a virtuoso is a safe place for young people and children unlike YouTube and the web in general so we will monitor these comments and make sure that no vulgar um, or uh, any other um, disrespectful language is used um, users that use that kind of language will be kicked off the site permanently so um, she's found this piece and she wants to watch it and she wants to rate it you'll see there's a rate function so she's gonna listen to this Pacquiao Bell Canon because she felt like rating this piece as well it's another piece that she's been working on so she's liked it kind of she thought it was average and then if you click on the, on the right there's a little uh, an explanation of one to five or if you go at the top it's very clear in English and again we will have uh, these criteria in um, all of the languages that our users use so feel free to contact us and tell us what main language your user is for example this Japanese student here we have Japanese and here it says grades so the Japanese student is looking now at the grades uh, the ratings of their practice and again teachers can have a list of all of their students practices and all of the ratings that they get from around the world or we can set it up that um, only groups so only other students from your class or school can rate um, students or that they can see 
they can look for this. It can be set up in many ways, um, but it also the, it identifies how much students are engaging in the site, sheet music, discussions, uh, video lessons, and of course the practice tool. That's all of the tools that we have in uh, Vienna Virtuoso Campus right now. Our first 100 users of every instrument are free. And if your students need additional support, um, uh, we have supplementary lessons offered by master's degree students at Vienna's conservatories. Vienna Virtuoso memberships and lessons are not meant as a substitute of school lessons or private teacher lessons, but rather to supplement lessons for competition preparation and to help the student on their journey. Thank you very much for watching and we hope to see you in the virtual campus very soon.